Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a singles reading. But you know, whatever comes up, comes up. It may not be what you want to hear. So just keep that in mind. But this is intended for singles. We'll see what happens. This is a message from my guides for you. Um, it's not going to be like anybody else's message. My readings never are. Um, there's no timing on this video, okay? This is just a singles reading for Aquarius. Doesn't mean that I'm going to give you butterflies and rainbows, okay? This is something, whatever this message is, it's for you, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. All right, we're going to get one of these. We're going to, until it flips out or I pick it, and then we're going to see what's on the bottom for an overall energy, and then we're going to use this deck right here. What do we have for Aquarius? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we got for the Aquarius singles? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So the waiting that you are going through, it's worth it. Okay, they're going to bring you something very worthy. But you got to continue to have patience. Okay. So, something is coming that you're going to be happy about. In the meantime, you need to flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. That means flirt. I mean, what more can I say? Open yourself up. Extend yourself. Be flirtatious during this time. Past life relationship is coming. That's what's coming. That's what you want. So be patient. Open yourself up. Somebody is coming that you have known before. This is not your ex. It's not. This is a past life connection. Somebody that you have known before, but it's not your ex. And I know some people don't want to hear that, but I'm here to tell you that that is what this is. I'm a messenger. This is not your ex. It's not. It's not. And for the cross watchers that want it to be, you know, I'm sorry. What do we have for Aquarius singles? Yeah, something's over. What happened in the past is over. It's done. This is the end of suffering. This is the end of betrayal. It's the end of pain. It's the end of hurt. This is the end, the Ten of Swords. Something that is done. It's dead, okay? Something is done. It's dead! Owl is a symbol of death. This is dead as well. You can clearly see that, that something is dead. This is owl is a symbol of change. The highest intuitive wisdom as well. Transformation. Change something big, okay? Something big is coming to you. Something has ended and there's no going back. You have a new beginning waiting for you and it's coming. But you're going to have to be patient. Literally unavailable. Emotionally unavailable. A need to have fun. need to be more playful. Come on now. If you are waiting for somebody from your past, thinking they're the one, this is a message you need to hear, this message from my guides. I'm here to tell you that it's time to start flirting. It's time to be more playful. It's time to put yourself out there. Stop f feeling guilty. Stop thinking about what happened. Stop thinking about the betrayal. Th stop thinking about the pain. You know, stop worrying. I see depression here. I see anxiety. You may, you may be having fears of opening your heart up to somebody else but there's an opportunity for a relationship here this is a wanting a relationship wanting romance you know you may you may need to really 
you know, in the future, this is the future position, right around the corner, you have somebody coming in that is emotionally available and somebody that is ready for love. So you may, re in the future, soon, I think, around the corner, you're going to be receiving an offer of love from somebody. Three of Pentacles reverses lack of compromise, lack of cooperation, lack of... of Teamwork, lack of putting yourself. You, you got. You, if you don't want to flirt with anybody, then you're certainly not going to find anybody. You letting the pain control you, the hurt, the betrayal control you. It's like you know, guarding your heart, not compromising, not not really communicating with anybody, not really working together with anybody, not putting in effort. If you don't put in any effort, then hey, that's what you choose. Slow and steady wins the race. Not quite ready. Not quite time. So yeah, it's not quite time. A relationship is going to come to you, but it's not quite time because you haven't completely healed from something. Maybe you're, you're, you know, very routine, right? You are very fixed, right? You are a fixed sign after all. You know, you're very routine. Maybe you're working on your stability right now. You're not, and, and, and you're not being called to be in a hurry. Take your time with this. Take your time to heal. Take all the time that you need, but, and that's what we got here, somebody that is focusing on their money, they're focusing on their coin, focusing on their job, focusing on their, you know, stability, not really putting themselves out there, but I want a relationship, yes, I'm thinking about a relationship, I really would like to have one, but I kind of don't have time for it right now, I don't really have time for it, I'm focused on my security, my whatever, but you want it, right, you want it, it's coming, if you really, really want it, you're going to have to start flirting with people, you're going to start opening up, start communicating, I don't feel like you guys are really into communicating right now, you may feel like yeah, there's too much chaos in your life, it's, life is too busy, um, making progress, being watched, being recognized. I feel like you guys have a lot of confidence at this time. Maybe you're working on your image. Maybe maybe you're working uh maybe you you are being recognized by others and you're just working on yourself. That's what it looks like to me. It looks to me like you guys are being your own warrior per se. You know, you're 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 doing that victory march, you know what I mean? You're doing what everything that you can to bring victory to your to your life to yourself you're working on your own stability you're working on your own confidence your own image your, yourself you're and i think this is actually pretty good uh, page of swords reverse setting boundaries you may need to set some boundaries you may be um not wanting to deal with any conflict. You don't want probably don't want to deal with any pettiness at this time. You maybe have somebody around you that is very petty, somebody that is childish, somebody that is immature. Um, you could be dealing with an immature person that is watching you. They are, they are bringing conflict into your life. You know, this could be a child. It could be somebody that you live with. It could be a, could be an ex. It could be whoever this person is. This person is immature, and you may need to. Um, deal with this person before you can come together with anybody else. Maybe there's some animosity as well. Maybe you're 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 still um, a little bitter over something, and you need to heal. You you may still be feeling conflicted. You may be dealing with somebody who gossips, somebody who's trying to bring you down, and you you're just feeling like you can't um, really work on a relationship right now because you're working I see you really working on your own victory your own success your own stability not really putting yourself out there for people so if you don't put yourself out there if you don't flirt then hey I mean how are you gonna meet somebody you have to flirt to meet somebody I mean that's just clear that's clear shit right there so anyway um, you're, you're waiting you're working on yourself that's good I think it's very very good I see you guys bringing success into your life because you're protecting yourself right now. You're doing what you need to do for you, which is very good. But I see these worries. That Nine of Swords, I think that you're you're worried about getting in another relationship. For one, you probably don't have time for it. You're just like, I don't have time for this right now. Working on me. You are probably dealing with, or this is you, okay? This is bitterness. This is resent, okay? You're, you, you may be... You know, feel like you're you're too hard to love right now. You're not ready for love. You may be withdrawn. You may feel like, you know, you really need to protect yourself at this time. So Aquarius, I feel like your guard is absolutely 100% up. I feel as though, you know, you don't probably really, really, really want to communicate with people right now. You're working on yourself. You're, you're, you're not healed from something. You're not healed. There is definitely some bitterness here. Um... 
maybe even some anger. Anger. You may be upset. You may be refusing to see something from a new perspective. You know, you may be thinking very negatively. There is probably some negative thinking. Negative thinking negatively. And that's because you haven't healed. You know, they think about the stages of grief, you know. So anger is one of them. So you may, you probably had, you know, was dealing with somebody in the past that, you know, really betrayed you, really hurt you, lied to you, presented themselves to be somebody that they absolutely were not. And, you know, now you're like, shit, I don't trust anybody. So there's distrust here. But I feel like you are healing and in this is divine timing, but it's not time yet. But a relationship is coming. It is around the corner for you. But you need to flirt. This is a time to extend your lighthearted energy. Try to, you know, find your confidence to slowly open yourself up. Slowly. You don't have to rush. Just little, little things, you know. Flirt, flirt just a little bit. Um... You guys were dealing with somebody who didn't have good intentions in the past. Could have been a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person um, wasn't emotionally available to you. So I feel like they have, you know, how the, 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 the you tend to take on other people's energies. Especially the ones that you were last with. It's just the way, that's part of, it's kind of like a karmic lesson. It's really crazy how it works. They have probably, you know, because of them, they they didn't treat you with respect, you know. They have made you withdraw, you know. They, they Because they were withdrawn and they didn't know how to love, they have caused you, you know, to take on that energy for a minute. You know, it's like a shift. What goes around comes around, you know, that kind of thing. It's like a shift of energy. So I feel like right now you may not be emotionally available for anybody because there's, you know, you've taken on their energy, unfortunately. But I think that, you know... You need to know your value. The Empress reversed. You need to take care of yourself right now. I think that you were probably dealing with a person that didn't take very good care of you. Could go all the way back to your childhood. Maybe you were abandoned as a child and now you're dealing with some feelings of abandonment. You know, maybe you fear abandonment. Um, if you are the male watching this, you are dealing with somebody. If you are the male watching this, the ma masculine, you were dealing with somebody who really didn't know how to love. This person was smothering. This person was abusive. This person had a big ego. This person was not a good mother to her own children. This person had addictions. This person um, tried to escape reality, didn't want to be held accountable for any of their actions. This person was very selfish, if you were the male watching this. And I think that's probably why you're fearful. You're like, damn, I don't want to go back there again. So you may be, you know, have your guard way, way, way up. Just have to tell you, this person is still watching you. And you're still taking on their energy. You, you need to, if you... You know, you are because you're, they're still watching you and it's like you can feel their energy. You probably know that they're watching you. Um, this person is, is, it's almost like they're, it's almost like it's a psychic vampire. This person is like trying to, by them watching you, it's like they're trying to steal your energy. You need to find your strength, your mental strength to, to basically put a guard up, put a barrier up so that they can't steal your energy anymore. You can do that. Uh, through meditation, through visualization, through setting intentions to protect yourself from this person that is trying to um, steal your energy. Okay, so I don't know. I never think I've ever given that message before, but whatever. Um, it's time to extend yourself. Once you tell the universe that you are that you are really, when, once you start flirting with other people and putting yourself out there, then the universe knows that you are you've 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 severed the ties. You, you're not going to let that person steal your energy anymore as well. So I think that you have somebody that is coming in, but you're not quite ready. You need to start extending yourself slowly to other people. Start flirting with other people. It doesn't mean that you have to move in with them or that you have to jump into a relationship with them. There is a relationship that is coming, but not right now. Because I feel like you need to take care of yourself. You need to nurture yourself. You need to heal. You're still dealing with some pain from somebody that couldn't, didn't know how to love. So... I feel as though whoever this person that is coming in, they are probably a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This person is very active. This person may be an entrepreneur. This person is a hard worker. This person is noble. This person is strong. This person has a, a good job. This person um, can take good care of you. This person um, 
is family oriented whoever is coming into your life um, is very passionate this person um, is noble okay so I think that you need to find your confidence as well you need to find your confidence to start just start opening yourself up to others don't let this person that didn't know how to love hold you back anymore somebody is coming and when this person comes they are going to be this is a protector and they're going to do whatever they got to do they take action they act this person will do whatever they have to do to protect you um yeah so that's what i got good luck